Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at what is the best way to present your PowerPoint. How can you annotate, use your highlighter, transcribe, and even have your notes ready? So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this session. I am so excited to share this with you all. So here I am in my sample Teams class. I will go ahead and initiate a meeting. And once I am in my session, I will simply go ahead and click share button. And then I do not want to pick my PowerPoint from my OneDrive. I want to go ahead and choose the PowerPoint that's on my desktop. So please make sure you have a copy of it on your desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, here I am in my PowerPoint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on Slideshow. So I simply went ahead and created four different slides just for demo purposes. You can actually start your Slideshow from your current slide, but I'm going to go ahead and start from the beginning. So let me go ahead and click on that. As you can see, you saw my first transition. But what I would like to highlight today is when you right click, you will see something that says show presenter view. Let me go ahead and click on that. And as soon as you click, this is the window that you will see. So this view lets you present with your script on your right hand side and a preview of what's coming up next in your presentation. Can you imagine having all this in front of you? You will be rocking that presentation. And here you will have the time of how long your presentation has been running and your local time right here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at different tools that we have. When I click on this tool right here, you have your laser pointer, your pen, and your highlighter. As you can see, I'm using my laser pointer. I'm gonna shift to my pen. I am annotating. There you go, I can change the color of my ink. I'm gonna change it to yellow. There you go, you have various colors that you can change to. I can also go ahead and pick a highlighter. I am highlighting this. And if I don't like something, I can go ahead and erase it. Or I can completely erase everything on the slide. So this feature lets me erase and this feature lets me erase everything on the slide. What I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and move through the slides. As you can see, that was my next animation. And here it tells me my next slide is totally empty. So let's take a look at the audience point of view. I'm navigating through my slides. The audience can actually see my transitions and my animations flawlessly. This is the presenter's view. I have my notes right here. I can actually increase the font of my notes. I can go ahead and decrease the font of my notes. And I'm seeing that I am into one minute and 28 seconds into my presentation. Now this lets me see all the slides in my presentation. Keep in mind, this is just your view. Your audience will be looking at only this particular slide. And here you can actually zoom in and zoom out. And if you zoom in and zoom out, your audience will also be zooming in and zooming out with you. Now this is, you can black and unblock your slide. What does that mean? Let me show you the audience perspective. So when I click on the black and unblack, this is exactly what happens. You can actually use this if you're taking a break or if you have to get up or talk to someone. So that's a nice little feature right there, especially when you're presenting. And it's right here, black and unblack. Now the next one is my most favorite tool. What this does is it actually lets you toggle between your subtitles. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, my subtitles will start in a minute. Let me go ahead and show you the attendees view. So when I'm speaking, what's happening is it's actually translating it into a different language. Let me go ahead and change the language. All you have to do is click on it, right click, go to your subtitle settings, scroll all the way down to more settings. And as you can see, my spoken language is English. 
and I'm translating it to Spanish. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and change it to English so you can see and we'll come back and change it to some other language. I'm going to click OK. Now let's take a look at what the attendees will be looking at. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. How are you doing today? This is a beautiful day. It's 12 o'clock midnight. So you get the idea. Whatever I speak, it kind of translates and also has it for your audience. Now let's go ahead and change to some other language. Just in case you're presenting to audience with different languages, you can actually go ahead and pick from 66 different languages. I'm going to go ahead and pick Spanish and I'm going to click OK. And now when I speak, it kind of actually translates into Spanish. You can see the audience view by simply clicking on display settings. So as you can see, when I'm speaking, it's picking it up perfectly and it's translating everything into Spanish. Trust me, I don't know what it's saying, but I'm assuming somebody else who's watching this video knows what's happening there. So this is one of my favorite feature because if I'm presenting to some audience with different languages, not only can I change it, but I can also have it portrayed and transcribed right on my screen. How cool is that? And last but not the least, this button lets you hide your presenter view or you can actually go ahead and end your show. I really enjoy using the presenter view. I try to use that as much as possible, especially when I'm presenting in meetings or webinars, not to my students, of course. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure you like subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be some instructor who might really need this transcribing and present review. And always remember, happy teaching.